See Carlos. Police are still trying to figure out what caused the car to go over the cliff, and right now we do not have a condition on that survivor. It happened at Perkins Beach in Edgewater Park. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin joins us live from there with this story. Hi, Michael. Hey, Tracy. This is truly tragic. Firefighters tell us that it was a mother and daughter, and the fact that the car did not go into the water may have saved the daughter's life. We are at Perkins Beach, and the car just zoomed over the hill into the water. There's a car that just went over the edge, and they're screaming. We have people trying to help them. Please hurry. The frantic 911 calls describes the horror witnessed by people along Edgewater today. This car carrying two people, a mother and daughter, goes off the cliff. The fire department arrived. We found one car on the bottom uh, close to the lake. Uh, the fire department extricated one individual. Uh, we transported him by um, boat to the marina, transported to hospital, and we have one individual uh, that's in the car that was deceased. Fire officials say the car flipped and never made it into the water. It was stopped by some boulders on the bottom. I know it took, we, 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 it took, fire department did a great job extricating her. Um, the daughter's arm was caught underneath the um, dashboard. Uh, there were some other problems we had with her, and we were constant contact with her, and uh, they did a great job of cutting her out. All right, we went to Sam from firefighters that the daughter was conscious the entire time. Tracy, we've also learned that Cleveland Metro Parks are expected to put some barriers up around here over the next couple of days. We're live and on your side at Edgewater. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.